Hey everyone, I uh, hope your day's going great. I'm sitting here at bus stop waiting for my daughter to come home for preschool. Missed her, she my little girl. Um, as many of you know, I have three boys, ages 15, 11, and almost seven on the 1st of April. And it's not April Fool's joke, it's real. I thought it was when they told me I was having him that day, though. Because <laughs> he wasn't due for almost two months after that. He's doing fine, no issues at all. He just had to have tubes in his ears. That was the only complication he had with being almost two months early and premature, thankfully. His birth weight was almost six pounds, so he was very small compared to my eight, nine, and up pound other children. But he's good to go. And then I have my daughter that just turned five, uh, three days before Christmas. So I am sitting here full of ideas, super excited. I found, oh gosh, I'm such a goober. I can't remember the magazine's name. It's something unlimited, I think, or, you know, what? I'll put it in the description because I have no idea right at the moment. Anyway, I found a magazine. Well, actually it found me. It was mailed to me. Okay, back up. It was actually mailed to my son. No, no. Anyway, I'm flipping through it. As many of you know, I'm an avid Amazon shopper. I'm in the top 5,000 reviewers. I have been awarded the Cooking Enthusiast badge on Amazon. So I'm on there quite frequently look, looking at things, buying things, reviewing things. And I got this magazine in the mail. And I'm like, huh. There's a lot of good products in there that I cannot wait to show you all. I did. I ended up, I was like, I'll get this one item. And I'm like, oh my God, look at that. I'm like, oh, I want to try that. Anyway, so I ended up getting a few items. Anyway, so those are going to be shipped soon. I ordered them. This is what, the 29th, I think? I don't remember. Anyway. I ordered them literally like four hours ago. It was like 3.30 in the morning. I couldn't sleep. Uh, I was looking at the catalog. And then I jumped on Amazon and price matched. Nah. The catalog beat Amazon out on every one. Except one. And then I read the reviews on Amazon. I'm like, oh. Good thing I didn't buy that one. It was a, uh, what was it called? Cut Pro, Cut Chopper. I don't know. It was a kitchen device. It's like a pair of scissors that had a cutting board on it. I can't remember the exact name. And they offered a professional series one for, I think, a dollar or two more. And even those the reviews said the blades were dull on every one of them. So I'm like, yeah, don't need that. Need idea, bad blades. So I didn't get that. That was the only one that Amazon ranked cheaper, probably due to the ratings. But I've got, I'm trying to remember what all I purchased. I purchased dish shelves that are stands, you know, put my cigarettes down. Anyway, there are square stands that are upright that you put your plates in. I thought I'd try that out on my, like, lower cabinets for my kids, like my five and six year old. Oh, gosh, he's about to be seven. Anyway, so that way they don't have to use a chair or a stool to get into the cupboard. Or, you know, get somebody to get them for them. They're, they're very independent. They like to do things themselves. So I thought that would help with them. It also helped my 11-year-old son to be able to put dishes away. He's not real big or good about washing them. So that's between me and my oldest. But I'm going to have him start putting them away. And I like the design of it. I believe they were $7.98, $8.00. And you got four. And it looked like they'd hold eight big plates in each of them. If I looked at it correctly. And then they had the small set. Or the smaller ones for I think like little saucers and small plates. And I believe that was $5.98. I'm just trying to pull this from memory. So I ended up getting one of each. If I need to get more I'll get more. Um, I got something that I'm so excited about. I was going to get last year. But I didn't get it because I'm like, ah, I couldn't bring myself to spend $40, $50, $60 on it. Which isn't much. But I wasn't 
all set up and ready for it. This year I have. I bought two of the large circular raised outside planted beds. And man, I'm excited because, um, oh, that's another video I've got to do. We have a just big, tall kitchen garbage can inside that is for nothing except verbo composting, which we have, yeah, inside, I know. Ooh. Anyway, we have red wiggler worms in it, and then we throw our food scraps in there. It had dirt and paper and, you know, shredded up newspaper, and they eat the food scraps, like leftover vegetables and fruit, you know, no meat, no grease, no bread, no, no mayonnaise, none of that oily, nasty stuff. Just stuff that they can organically break down. And that has been in there since last March. I've been turning it a little bit. Oh my goodness, I went to flip it. Oh my gosh, there were so many little baby ones in there. They must still like their habitat. I can't wink, but wink, wink. Because they are multiplying and reproducing like crazy. So I'm going to... Oh gosh, I don't know if I know where my dirt sifter is. And by dirt sifter, it's a fancy word for an old colander that you drain pasta with. That I have specifically written all along the bottom of it. Worms only. I'll probably put it in the shed with the gardening stuff outside. <coughs> Excuse me. I still feel horrible. Mucinex, come on, man. You're not working. Almost a week in, man. I'm not coughing anything up. It's stuck in my chest. I might have to get, like, a, I don't know, an inhaler or something. I don't know. I don't have a doctor, so this is going to be tricky. Anyway, so I'm going to have to make a video where I dump out and sift the Verbo composting bin and separate the worms from the black gold, which is essentially worm poop turned to, you know, really good fertilized soil. You mix it in with the soil. And I'm going to put, eh, depending on how big the large ones are, because like I said, that's spit on my shifter. My bad. Sorry, car. I love you. Uh, depending on how big they actually are, I'm debating on putting almost half into each because I'm still going to leave some of the old soil, the old, you know, uh, habitat. Sorry, a cop just flew by with his lights on. Like, what's going on? Some of the old material and habitat that they were in, in the garbage can. And then I'm going to add in new material, you know, more newspaper, more dirt, leaves from outside. And let that sit. We'll do it again next year. So, I may not add almost half into each because I have other areas that I'm going to be planting directly into the ground in. So, we'll, we'll see how much it is and how it goes. But that's definitely going to be a video I make. And I'm going to be excited to use the uh, planters that I bought. The raised gardening circular beds. So, that's going to be awesome. Oh, I also got the, what was, oh gosh, I said about names. The red copper five in one cooking pan. It fries, it goes into the oven, it sautés, it's an as seen on TV product. I'm going to be reviewing that soon. Um, I know I, sp I got a lot more than that because it's $122. What did I get? Oh. Uh, I got kitchen hand towel set Velcro onto your stove, and I got a set of 12 vegetable planters that are chalkboard style, already pre-written that say tomato, pepper, etc. on them. Each one of the raised beds, I'm having one item in each. I'm going to put tomatoes in one, and I'm going to put peppers in the other one. So that's going to be cool. We'll use those with it. Oh, bus is here. One second. Say hello, Serenity. Did you just get home from preschool? Off the bus? Yeah. Are we gonna go get McDonald's? And chocolate. And she wants chocolate. So we have a lot of videos that we're gonna be bringing to you. Um, I might have left out a few things, but we'll make more videos later on and review. Yes, dear. Yes, we can go to McDonald's. I don't think the one up there has the playground. 
Oh, Bobby still don't feel good. She coughing. How you feel? Are you feeling better? Good. All right. Can you tell our RTG viewers bye?